Hi guys, it's Peter Barter here from Pro Tools Experts and today we're going to have a look at the Echo Farm 3.0 delay plugin from Line 6. Now Echo Farm was an incredibly popular plugin originally released in the year 2000 that used to run exclusively on the Pro Tools TDM format requiring DSP chips on a HD or HDXL card to run. With the release of Echo Farm 3.0 Line 6 have now updated the code to 64-bit AAX native meaning this version is now compatible with regular and HD versions of Pro Tools from version 11 and above. Now, Line 6 state that one of their design goals for this plugin was to ensure 100% backwards compatibility so that all those older projects and sessions would open smoothly. So before we go any further, I just wanted to check that that was the case. So you can see we've got a session here that hasn't been opened or modified since January 2012, so over five years ago. And I know that that session came from a Pro Tools HD system uh, with Echo Farm inserted at least once somewhere. So let's open it up and see if it works. Now you can see that there's uh, at least one missing plug in there, but Echo Farm isn't on that list. The moment of truth. There you can see on the audio three track uh, that Echo Farm is present and active. So for previous owners or users of Echo Farm, be rest assured that Line 6 have delivered on this promise uh, and you should be comfortable and in familiar sonic territory owing to the fact that the GUI and feature set are exactly as they were. Uh, the only difference being that the plugin now supports up to 192 kilohertz sample rates. So what about those who are new to the plugin? Well, let's have a closer look at the GUI and some of the features before hearing some examples. So Echo Farm is actually a collection of 12 different delay types with a mixture of emulations of vintage inspired Echo units and stomp boxes combined with some original Line 6 designs. The GUI retains a common layout of core controls across each of the different faceplates. With each model, apart from the RE101, having two unique model-specific knobs used for things like tape behaviour, EQ or modulation. So let's have a play with some of those now and hear what they sound like. So here we've got a simple session with some drum loops, some keys and a few guitars. Let's hear what it sounds like at the moment and then we can add some delay later. <laughs> So it's all a little bit safe and boring at the moment. So firstly, let's look at this electric piano part and see if we can liven it up a bit. I'm going to use the Boss DM2 emulation for this one. And just put it out of bypass. And I think uh, I want something quite subtle. So I'm just going to go for, I think, uh, maybe 16th, maybe dotted 16th, something like that. Okay. Let me roll back the bass a little bit. I want it to be quite trebly. And then have the mix down a little bit. So something quite subtle like that. Bypass it. And in context. Nice. Next, I'm going to work on this staccato piano part, possibly adding a little bit of groove and then maybe experimenting with some feedback. So let's just have a listen. I think I want uh, some triplets for this, probably quarter note triplets. Let's hear what that sounds like. That's quite groovy. Be a little bit less uh, wow, flutter, not so much drive. A few more 
repeats and a bit more in the mix. So you get that da 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 da. Nice. So what I want to do now is automate that a bit, crank up the repeat so we get some nice dirty feedback at the end. I'll just enable the repeat control for automation. And you can see that it's now highlighted in green. And now when I've armed the automation on the track, it turns red. So let's go for a quick pass. Nice. So let's use it on some guitars. So we've got this guitar part here. And I think I want to use uh, Memory Man on this. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I like that quarter note delay. Let's just have a play around with the settings on this. Maybe a little bit more modulation. really nice and classy. Maybe a few, a few more repeats. And then the mix back just a tad. And then just uh, bypass it on the next one so you can hear the difference. And back in. So on the next guitar track here, let's try something a bit different. Let's just hear it dry first. Okay, so I think I want to use maybe a dynamic delay for this one. And, uh, Let's try a half note delay instead. Let's change the threshold. Maybe a few more repeats. And then the mix down a little bit. So let's hear all that in context to see what difference it's made to the track. So you can see the tape echo at the top right controlling the piano. And we've automated the repeats. Ooh. interesting though. Okay, so what are my final thoughts? Having previously used Echo Farm from the TDM era, I was initially really, really excited to hear that they were finally porting it over to AX 64-bit native. Uh, I'm really happy that my old sessions and presets, you know, open correctly on my native system and work and sound just like they used to. I also applaud Line 6's decision to offer an upgrade path to previous owners, charging only $49. Although just be aware that you have to completely surrender your old TDM license when upgrading. Now, for those completely new to Echo Farm, I'd say coming back to this plugin after four or five years and using it on new material, I did find it a really fun experience. The emulations still sound great and they're really vibey and easy to use when performing. As for a production tool, however, I did find the control set and opportunities for fine tuning the sound a little bit limited compared to similarly priced echo or delay plugins on the market at the moment. With Line 6 prioritizing backwards compatibility over a GUI refresh or adding any new features means that you're essentially 
getting a 17-year-old concept. Although, with the amount of hit records that this plugin has graced in that period, that concept can now arguably be called a classic. So grab a demo over on the Lime 6 website and let us know what you think of this classic plugin. I've been Peter Barter, and thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.